Hey everybody, welcome to this live stream. I'm Minx Laura 123. This is my wacky world. I just had a bit of cake and it's on my lip. Some of the frosting. <laughs> um, I don't normally do live streams at this time of night, so I don't even know if anyone's gonna gonna be here. It's pretty late in the UK. It's uh, it's one o'clock in the morning. So I don't even know if anyone's awake. Hello? <laughs> um, I just did a live stream on my um, ASMR channel. Minx Law 123 ASMR. Check it out if you haven't already. Um, and I thought I'd just pop on here to say hi because I'm still awake, you see. Uh, Ellie Carrick. Hey. An aviation fan. Hello. You was at my ASMR stream as well. So thank you for that. How are you doing with the lockdown, says Ellie. Um, I think we're just getting kind of used to it, really. It's just, you know, it's it's more safe to stay in. And we're only going out if we have to for, you know, like food, drink, any medical stuff. And obviously our exercise, a little bit of walk and stuff. But, you know, I just, I want things to go back to normal, right? But you've got to be thinking it's more important that it's, it's safer, you know, and people can get better than just, you know, going out. So stay in, stay safe. Um, Stuart, hello to you, and Mark, the demi style from Retroactive Jealousy Sport. I hope I said that okay. Sleeping Artist, hey, how you doing? That's not a problem. How are you? Hope you're good. Sleeping Artist ASMR. Uh, if you like ASMR, go check out my lovely friend Sleeping ASMR. Uh, sorry, Sleeping Artist ASMR's channel. She is adorable. Uh, Hannah Nightingale is here as well. Um, so yeah, we just, you know, we, we're getting on with things and uh, that's all we can do really is just to keep hoping that things get better soon. So yeah, um, this isn't going to be a long live stream because I'm I'm tired, I'm awake. It's it's a really weird thing because my, my body's quite tired but my mind's awake. Do you ever get that? Uh, hence, I'm on here after uh, doing my ASMR stream. I did my ASMR stream for like an hour and a half. Uh, so that was quite a long one, but it was good. It was really fun and relaxing. Um, and that's, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm awake. <laughs> How you doing, Ron Nitzel? And Carly books some music. Hey, Carly. Um, hello, it's also 1am. Where are you? Where you are? Fun sleep schedule. Yes, yeah, so I'm in the UK. And it is one o'clock. Constant state. My mind never shuts up. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much like that. Some people just uh, switch off, don't they, from life's worries. But, I, yeah, I do think and think and think and think. And think. Um, I've always been a bit like that, really. Um, How is your mental health at the minute? With lockdown, mine's gone rubbish, says Ellie. Oh, bless you, Ellie. I hope you're okay. Um, um, Just, you know, I know it's a bit cliche, but you've got to just try and keep strong. And, you know, that it will get easier, it will get better. And it is weird because everything's like, changed, doesn't it? Like our lives have just been like changed out of the blue. You know, like a few weeks ago, I was out, you know, having a Starbucks, buying books, doing my exercise, walking around everywhere. And the next minute it's like, you've got, you've got to stay in. You can't go out, you can't do this, nowhere's open. Then you're worrying about work and it's, it's not nice. Like it is a worrying time. Um, but, you know, in some ways it's kind of, this is a really weird way of thinking about it, but it's a way that we can just realise how busy and hustle and bustle life is. So, you know, this time being at home, being locked down as such, uh, it gives us time to just reflect and, and meditate, relax, do hobbies, do things that we can't normally get time to do. Um, you know, so try and look at it in a positive way. I know it's not easy, but that's how I'm trying to do it. Just trying to think as positive as I can and just to you know enjoy it obviously I'll, I'll get to spend more time with Nathan I get to read more books um you know so it, that's how I kind of look at it and and I, I do pray um you know I'm religious to a degree not like overly but you know to a degree so I've been praying and stuff um hoping that just everything gets better soon because it's it's not nice for any of us you know um but yeah, hopefully that answered that question. I don't know if it did or not. <laughs> Brendan, um, Brandon, sorry, Brandon and Pinocchio, hello to you. Um, oh, bless you. I'm so sorry to hear that, Hannah. 
and uh, we'll see them from our, our we'll, we'll be sending prayers and thoughts uh, to you Hannah and uh, I hope you know I hope things improve um, sorry I'm not very good at this sort of conversation am I but um, I you know I am I, um, the more I hear about like personal stories it's it really hits home like when you see it on the news and stuff it's horrible but when you hear like personal stories of it or you know someone who's got it or you know someone who's someone who's someone you know it feels more real and that's more scary to me um but yeah what like my local gp um who my doctor who i had when i was a little girl uh my mum still it was still her doctor he he died from it um a couple of weeks ago and it it's just like these people you know them like they're real they're not just like on a screen or on a twitter feed they're real people and it's like oh I can't, I can't believe it, you know, so we ju I don't know, we've just got to keep positive and keep praying and, and, and sending positive vibes to, to people. Uh, Leah Finian, hello, hope everything's good with you. Claire, sorry to hear your anxiety is going through the roof and Claire, I don't know if you know, but I do have another channel. Uh, I don't know if you're from my other channel as well, so that I just look silly here, but if you don't, um, I've got an ASMR channel why I make videos to help people with anxiety and, and I've, I've got anxiety myself so I totally understand what you're going through um but yeah minxlaura123 asmr check it out and there's videos on there to help people you know just to relax de-stress calm down um if you're experiencing any panic attacks hopefully my videos um will help in some way I don't know I hope so but yeah anyway so has anyone got any subjects you want to talk about apart from the obvious because we don't want to keep talking about it i think that's what i try, I try to do now i try to not like read about it watch it i think the more it, it's in your mind the more it triggers that kind of anxiety and stuff so you know obviously i read a bit about it and then i just switch off because i'm like that nah. oh um laura i want to see you do more makeup videos and your hair i know i need to do like more hair and makeup videos on this channel and on the other channel as well actually but the thing is right Ellie I don't really wear much makeup anymore but I've got a little bit of lipstick on now which is kind of coming off but I don't really wear much makeup anymore like I used to um and I like I love like doing my hair and stuff but I I don't know I need to do some more I'll take it on board um you yeah, I subscribe to your other channel oh thank you listening to you puts my mind at ease does that make sense yeah I hope so I, I I really you know I do ASMR to help people and you know at times like this when it's really like a stressful situation in life I hope people turn to my videos and other people's ASMR videos as well not just mine um and find comfort in them you know it's just Meg BTS hello welcome to the stream um, pet idol <laughs> if anyone saw my video yesterday do not forget you've got two weeks to send me photographs of your pets it's pet idol 2020 boom <laughs> rachel moore hello how are you doing i missed your ass my live so i had to come and watch this one thank you rachel i appreciate that for you being here um when are you doing scratch cards again with nathan asked Stuart. i don't know nathan's here i'm gonna ask him when are we doing a scratch card video again when do you want to do it? When do you want to do it? When do you do it? When do you do it? Maybe next week? Yeah, maybe next week. Maybe next week. <laughs> That's weird. But yeah, maybe next week is the answer to that for you. Uh, I know a lot of you enjoy the scratch card videos and I love doing scratch card videos. However, it is, you know, obviously, uh, being honest, it is a case of money. Don't want to be wasting like loads of money on scratch cards. Um, but I think every so often, you know, once a month or once every few weeks, is this a little treat? especially at the moment like we can't go out anywhere really so you know if you go in the local corner shop and there just happens to be a few scratch cards well we get a couple <laughs> bit of light entertainment right surely uh, samantha crosby hello how are you doing hope you're good um could you do a day in the life of minxie says hannah nightingale you might uh, get people daily structure during this time i struggle to have routine oh okay i see what you mean yeah so like a a quarantine uh what i do all day routine i think i don't know what i end up doing i get to the end of the day and i think what have i done <laughs> like, what am 
much and done today. Um, yeah, it's weird. And I still feel like there's not enough hours in the day, even though I'm not like physically working and it's just weird. I think my routine is I, I always have to, you know, have a shower every day and do my hair. Um, I have been a bit naughty and I've been slobbing out a little bit in my pyjamas. Is that bad? It's bad. I mean, I have been getting dressed. Obviously, we go out pretty much, you know, every day just for a walk or to a shop or something. But um, I, I get dressed then. But apart from that, I'm a bit, I like my comfort. I like sitting cosy in my pyjamas or night dress. That's really bad, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I make sure I read, um, get some fresh air, watch some Netflix or some BuzzFeed Unsolved. Does anyone else watch BuzzFeed Unsolved? If you don't, you're missing out because it's brilliant. I love it. Ryan and Shane, brilliant duo. I love the uh, crime, like the uh, unsolved crime. And I love all the paranormal stuff they do as well. I think I actually prefer the crime than the paranormal. The paranormal stuff is really funny, but they don't really get that much evidence. And as much as I think Shane is really cool and funny, like he just like kind of takes the piss out of, you know, the paranormal and I'm really into it and it I don't know but when they do the like true crime mysteries that I just find that really fascinating but yeah I like the channel um you won a good bit last time yeah we did okay um the scratch card video we lasted I think we pretty much got our money back bar a few pound one before that I think we did quite well we, I think I think we won about 30 pound I can't even remember but you know um Ellie Carrick says, hi, Nathan. Hello. 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 <laughs> Day pyjamas and night pyjamas. I know, right? I shouldn't do it, though, because I, I feel like a slob. But the way I see it, right, if I'm going to sit around, I like to be comfortable. I like to feel cosy. But it's not an excuse. I should dress up a little bit more. You know. <laughs> any, new, any new books you've been reading? Um, it's just Meg, BTS. So... I will show you quickly the book I'm currently reading by Ruth Ware called uh, The Turn of the Key. It's a thriller, crime thriller. Um, it's set in a very remote Scottish um, highlands and uh, it's about this girl who becomes a nanny for this family. And then the uh, one of the ch uh, children that she's looking after um, gets murdered. And uh, she gets like accused of, of the crime and gets, you know, to go on trial and stuff like that. But she didn't do it. Well, that's what they're making you think. She didn't do it. And uh, it looks like the, the house you can see on the front there is pretty like creepy and the family are all a bit weird. So I think it's like a kind of ghost story mixed with a thriller. But I'm really enjoying it. It's very good. It's, it's creepy. It's creepy. And I just finished reading a book called The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. That was good as well. Another thriller. Another creepy, spooky thriller as well, actually. So look out for that one. Uh, do you remember the title of the book you hauled a couple of weeks ago that was about a haunting? Oh, no, I don't know. I'm sorry. I've got lots of books. Um, about a haunting. Unless it was that one, Simone, um, The Sundown Motel. That's a bit creepy. I don't know. I don't know. There is a new book, um, like a horror book out soon. Well, I think it came out today by Grady Hendrix, who is a brilliant author. And it's, um, I can't remember what it's called, something about vampire hunters and stuff. Like a group of women who are in this book club and they also hunt vampires. I just think that sounds wicked. <laughs> um, apparently it's supposed to be a cross between Steel Magnolias and Dracula. I mean, that's quite a twist, right? Um my boyfriend, my boyfriend and I are doing long distance at the moment. Do you have any advice? Just, you know, make sure you're still talking to each other on the phone or video chatting or whatever you do to communicate. Um, and I, I don't know how that, that'd be so hard. Like, you know, I, I'll be honest, I'm lucky. I shouldn't say this, that make it worse. But I'm lucky because Nathan is here and we live together and stuff. But like, if I couldn't see him for all this stuff going on, I'd be, I'd be I'd be well upset. I don't know how I'd cope. I mean, he'd be fine. He'd be like, that's good. Got a bit of, <laughs> got a bit of freedom. <laughs> I haven't got Laura like in my ear. <sighs> annoying me. I wouldn't you wouldn't be like that. What would you be like? Seriously, if we were going through this, but we didn't live together. Be sad. Before you moved in. Yeah. Yeah, 
And we got so sad, yeah. Well, I used to cry. We'd Skype for hours sometimes, even when he didn't want to. <laughs> he'd work like a whole night shift. And I was like, can we just talk another 10 minutes? Can we talk another 10 minutes? Yeah. But no, I, I don't know. My advice is that just to do that, really keep in contact and look forward to that time when, you you know, the lockdown's over and you can meet up and see each other and it's going to be great. Um, I don't know. hope that was all right. It's not very good advice, is it, really? Oh, Gemma. Oh, Gemma. I don't know how. Gemma, you're so amazing. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, listen, everyone needs to check out this girl's channel. She's adorable. And uh, we've been friends for a long time now, Gemma. And I, I truly admire you. I think you're a great girl. I love your channel. I, I think you're so sweet. And thank you for the super chat. Hello again. Much love, sis. My sister from another mister right there. So um, please subscribe to Gemma's channel, Gemma's Journey Grace. She's a lovely girl. She raises awareness of autism. She helps people and, and kind of, you know, uh, helps them understand it and explains it. And, you know, I... I didn't know that much about it until I started watching uh, Gemma's channel and, and talking to her and reading her tweets and stuff like that. And it's uh, she's she's a really kind girl and she really helps people out. So thank you very, very much. Bless you. Um, Keris. Is that Keris? No, Carrie. Sorry. I'm tired. Carrie. Carrie Jones. Um, hey, I've missed so many of your lives. Ha ha. But always watch them after. <laughs> I'm so happy I've got this one. Hope you're OK. It's awesome to have you here. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry I said your name wrong. <laughs> but Karis Jones, hello. Risk Pro 240, how you been? Hope you've been good. Um, thank you, I'm uploading daily videos on a new playlist. That's awesome. You work so hard on your channel, Gemma. You make more videos than me. I mean, you know, I make quite a few, but you're like, you're, you're, yeah, I think you're more hardworking than I am. So respect, respect to you, girl. Ashley Edwards, hi Laura, stay safe. You stay safe too, sweetheart. And I hope all of you um, stay safe because you're, you're all lovely people and I, I just want you all to be okay and, uh, you know, just keep positive. Someone is spamming my chat room and they're really annoying, so I'm going to get rid of them. There we go. Oh, it's so annoying. This time of night, can't be doing with that. <laughs> Any time of night, really. But, um... Yeah, I hate that. Why do people do that? It's just so weird. Come in and spam chat rooms with rubbish. Um, yeah. <laughs> Having a little late night rant here. Now my chat room's gone funny. I can't see any of my messages. Can someone just type hello, please? Because it's not working. All I can see is this person's messages that I've deleted. Because they were spamming. Please. But, um, yeah, it's quite late here in the UK. After this stream, I'm going to do some reading. And then I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired. Tomorrow we've got to go shopping, which I'm dreading. I, I try not to go into shops, obviously, because it's, you know, well, it's the rules. But um, we need Sainsbury's. We need supermarket shopping. Oh, there we go. It's working. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Gemma. Thank you, Sleepy Night. So smile. That's fine. Chat room there. Thanks, that person's part of a troll group. Oh, really? Ooh. It's weird, isn't it? Why are people like that? Uh, but yeah, we've got to go, grow. <laughs> we've got to go grocery shopping tomorrow, which we're dreading. Um, but we need food, we need drink, we need like bits and pieces. We've also got to go to the post office um, to send off some eBay stuff, by the way. Don't forget, I do have an eBay page. Minx Laura, an eBay. Go buy my stuff. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not. But, um, yeah, so we've got quite a few things to do tomorrow. But we'll still manage to fit in a little bit of BuzzFeed Unsold, a bit of book, <laughs> a bit of Mario Kart on the way. Uh, Dave Harris, how are you, David? Hope you're good. Stay safe. But, no, honestly, everyone, it is, it is going to get easier, and I know it doesn't feel like that right now. Um... But, you know, look, the way I look at it, right, I've said this before, oh, there's another person, go away. Ah, oh, guys. Um, as I say, <laughs> sorry. No, it's because they're spamming my chat and it's really annoying. Apparently they're part of, a, like, a troll group or something and they're being very nasty to Gemma and I don't like that. I don't like them being nasty to anyone, but 
Uh, I can't remember what I was saying now. They are sad. I'd never, I'd never troll anyone. I just, I'm just not like that. If I don't like them, I just don't watch them. But anyway, oh yeah, I can't remember what I was talking about. It's, it's going to get better. Isn't it? It's going to get better. <laughs> After all that drama, it's, it's going to get better. <laughs> oh yeah. So what I'm saying is, um, the way I look at it, right, is that when people were in the war, they went through so much horrible stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like in the war, the war. You know, they didn't know if the house was going to get bombed from one day to the next, you know, if they'd lose their family members, etc. you know. Um, and all that, you know, we've got to do really is stay in our house, stay safe, you know, stay clean, stay safe, um, keep the social distancing and everything. It's, it's not too much to ask, in my opinion. I'm not saying it's easy because it's not. It's still, like, weird because it's so different than our normal life. But when you think, you put it in perspective of, of, of like, you know, what people in the war had to go through. All they're asking us to do is sit in and watch TV, really. I mean, it's just not, you know, this is my view. Oh, my days. This, um, this troll is not good, is it, really? It's okay, I have several trolls who hate me. Oh, Gemma, that's so sad. That's, like, awful. Why, why would they be here, though? Like, how do they know to come here? It's weird. Um... Literally don't understand why people spend the time bashing the keyboard. Seriously, they wouldn't like it happening to them. I know. I don't understand. Hi, Cooper. <laughs> Aiden, Cooper. Hope you're good. And AK, James. Hello. Yeah, I apologise, Gemma. Obviously, it's not my fault. I'm not saying anything horrible. But I apologise that you're having to go through this sort of stuff uh, in general. Especially coming on my stream. You don't expect to see, you know. I feel bad. It's my channel. I shouldn't. Um, but I, I don't know what else I can do. Obviously, I'll keep removing them and stuff. But. Yeah, it sucks. I've had my fair share of trolls over the years. Oh, I still get it. Um, my only advice is to just rise above it, ignore it, and just be like, whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Or maybe not, not Trevor, because the, the name might not be Trevor. <laughs> but you know what I mean? <laughs> whatever, Trevor. It rhymes. That's Anyway. <sighs> but yeah, just look. Try and keep positive. Don't let people get to you. And... Uh, yeah. So, I don't know what's going on in my chat room again. It's going all weird. Oh, okay. Oh, bless you, Gemma. Well, you know, as I say, it's it's, it's horrible that you've got to go through that. I don't like people um, who are nasty to others. Like, it's just not nice. Um, Jamelia Jackson. Hello. How are you? Hope you're good. Uh, yeah, well, well, me and Nathan are okay. I've got bad hay fever. You can probably tell from my block up nasal area. Very bad hay fever. Um, pollen is high in the UK right now. Uh, Nathan's okay. Nathan's good. Nathan's good. Nathan's good. And mummy's not. Mummy's not well. But I won't go into all that now. She's got a chest infection-y thing. So uh, we're hoping she gets better soon. Like really soon. <laughs> Oh, my days. All right, look, I'm going to end this stream because it's stressing me out seeing, like, constant um, spamming and being nasty to one of my friends. It's not nice. So I'm really sorry about this, but, yeah, it wasn't going to be a long stream anyway, but I, every time I keep getting rid of them, they're just coming back, so it's not nice. But, listen, thank you for all of you for hanging out with me. Um, it's only been a short one, but hopefully I've made you smile and entertained you for a small while in time i'm gonna do some reading and go to bed so yeah <laughs> there'll be a new video tomorrow um it's gonna be yeah it's an it's an app called yes or no like question and answer yes or no uh, play along with me in the video as well you get questions and you, well it's quite obvious really you just say yes or no <laughs> watch the video tomorrow you'll find out it's, it's not you know it's not an amazing video but it's an okay video hopefully you'll enjoy it in some way um hi tina how you doing tina Bay blaylock um <laughs> i don't know but anyway that video goes on tomorrow someone asked me about mods cooper's asked me about mods 
I took all my mods off pretty much. Um, I won't go all into it now, but I was having a few issues with some of them deleting people and, um, you know, I didn't mind people if obviously they made mistakes because it, you know, I've, I've been a mod and I've made mistakes, deleted the wrong person or whatever. Um, but it was happening like quite frequently and it just wasn't very good for my channel or for myself. And also I found that I was making loads of people mods and I got to a point where I didn't even know who these people were. I looked at them like, you're in blue as a mod, but I don't even know you. And it, I kind of felt like I didn't want them having power over my little my little channel kind of thing. I can't explain it. Um, so I took mods off both, both my channels. Um, so yeah, it's nothing personal if people are thinking, why am I not a mod anymore? The, the, people aren't mods anymore. Nathan's not even a mod. Even if even he's not a mod, so don't take it personal. Um, hey, big heck, how are you doing? I haven't seen you for ages. Hope you're good. Um, what's this? Well, 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 okay, I'm confused. UK TV home. Um, I thought you'd been quite nice there, and then I I carried on reading, and I don't think you are. So I'm not sure how I, <laughs> I don't know how to take that um if you're being nice then that's fine but I, I don't know I'm not sure I've got a feeling that it's not so nice I'm home safe oh well I'm pleased to know you're doing okay uh big heck keep well keep safe keep home um everyone go check out big heck's channel he's cool he's a cool dude and go check out Gemma Grace's channel because she's lovely uh, Sleeping Nights ASMR, if you're into ASMR, go check out her channel. Um, just want you to say safe, honey. But you did kind of say I was in the vulnerable age group, which is kind of insinuating that, that I'm, like, older than I am. I don't know how to take that. Is it nasty or is it nice? They're saying, they're saying, they're saying keep... Like they're, saying, <laughs> they're saying to keep well and keep safe. But they're saying I'm in the vulnerable age group, which is kind of saying, oh, you're older, like an OAP, but I'm not, I'm only 40. I don't quite know how to take that. <laughs> anyway, it's been a weird stream. Um, <laughs> I don't know how old you are, hun. I just assumed. Nah, I don't look like an OAP. I mean, I look a bit rough, but I don't look like an OAP. Nor there's anything wrong with being an OAP, can I just say? My mum and dad are both OAPs, but I'm not, okay. <laughs> or maybe I am, who knows. Oh no, the old... <sighs> Sorry, Gemma, I see all this nasty stuff and I'm trying to get rid of it instantly. Um, hi, LDN, how you doing? Uh, Jamelia, yeah, so... We're not working at all at the moment, which sucks. Our company is going to kind of, you know, when the government help pay out kind of thing, that sort of thing. So we're hoping um, if things improve, obviously, with companies and stuff, you know, our jobs will be safe. But we're kind of up in the air at the moment, which is quite scary. Um, yeah, it's quite scary, actually. So I'm trying not to think about it. But yeah, but also, luckily, I've got my YouTube, so I can do my YouTube channels and stuff, which is also my job. I do a bit of eBay as well. A lot of people get butt hurt because of this whole mod stuff but listen when i come to mix on this channel i always feel love regardless no wrench needed oh thank you um yeah that's the thing like, i didn't want to get rid of my mods and part of me thinks oh, i should have kept just a few but then if i'd have kept say 10 the other people would have come in and said why am i not a mod why is she a mod why is he a mod and i was like oh do you know what just get rid of them all just i can't i can't have them um so, yeah, don't take it personal. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I just, yeah, I don't know what to say apart from I'm sorry that you have to go through all these horrible people. Oh, God. Okay, right. <laughs> I give up. That's the most horrible. I think that's one of the horrible messages. I'm definitely not going to read that out, but that was horrible. There's some sick, sick people out there. And I think, you know, look, I, I feel pity for them in a way because they've obviously got some form of uh, issues going on. Uh, deep, deep-rooted issues to be that vile to people. Especially at a time like this. 
uh, in the world when there's this horrible stuff going on. Um, you don't need people like that, right? So, anyway, right, let's end this stream now before I get irate and angry and ah. <laughs> Listen, take care of yourselves, everyone, and I'll see you very soon. New video tomorrow, the Yes or No game app, and um, I'll probably stream at some point in the week. At some point, so. Um, right, everyone, take care, and uh, see you soon.